On August 4, 1940, as the Battle of Britain approached its climax, miles away from Britain, in his Gloucester Gladiator, Flight Lieutenant Pat Pattel, flew on his first combat mission, over the Libyan desert. During the dogfight that followed, Pattel shot down two Italian planes. His first and second victory, out of fifty credited air victories. It was the beginning of an extraordinary, however, at the same time, the short flying career, of the most successful Royal Air Force fighter pilot. Many people would think, that the most successful Royal Air Force fighter pilot, is one of the few who fought in the Battle of Britain. As a matter of fact, the truth is that three out of five top scoring RAF aces, flew the skies over the Mediterranean, and two out of them, achieved their greatest success, in the sky over Libya and Greece. William Vale, credited with 30 air victories, and Pat Pattel, both pilots of the 80th Squadron. While the air battles over Europe, and later over Malta, were under the spotlight, the early phase of the war in the Mediterranean, was widely regarded as a sideshow, for this reason, the success of the RAF's Ace of Aces, is mainly unknown. Marmaduke Thomas, St. John Pattel, better known as Pat Pattel, was born on July 3, 1914, in Butterworth, Cape Province, in South Africa. In March 1933, he applied for service in the South African Air Force, but was rejected for the pilot training. As the son of the Army NCO, Pat soon joined the Special Service Battalion of the South African Army. In 1936, he saw a newspaper ad, for a five-year short service commission in the RAF. Pattel went to London, and by late June, he was undergoing basic flight training, at RAF Station, Prestwick in Scotland. During his basic and advanced training, in 1936 and 1937, he mastered deflection shooting. He was finally assessed as a phenomenally good shot, with exceptional flying skills. After completing his training, Pattel was promoted to pilot officer, and assigned to No. 80 Fighter Squadron. In April 1938, the 80th Squadron was sent to Ismaili in Egypt, tasked to provide air cover for the Suez Canal. While in Egypt, the 80th Squadron, carried out ground attack duties against Arab tribal insurgents. In this period, the squadron was equipped with the Gloucester Gladiator, a biplane fighter, already obsolete at the beginning of the Second World War. Despite being obsolete, in the hands of a good pilot, the maneuverable Gladiator was an efficient aircraft. Armed with four 7.7mm Browning machine guns, and powered by a Bristol Mercury 9 radial engine, that gave it a top speed of 414 km per hour, it was maybe the best biplane fighter, ever designed. Although, re-equipment of the squadron with the new Hawker Hurricane monoplane, was scheduled for 1940, the imminent danger of Nazi Germany in Europe, forced the RAF Fighter Command, to keep modern fighter planes for the defense of the British Isles. It meant that the 80th Squadron, would face the war in obsolete biplanes. Fortunately for them, their main opponent in the region, Regia Aeronautica, the Italian Air Force, also had exclusively biplanes, mainly Fiat CR-32, and more advanced CR-42 fighters. After Italy entered the war in June 1940, the air combat over North Africa, was more like the dogfights of the First World War. On July 28, 1940, the 80th Squadron replaced the exhausted 33rd Squadron in the front line. A few days later, on August 4, Pat Pattel led the flight of four gladiators, in his first combat mission. The mission was simple, escort the reconnaissance plane deep into Libya. Suddenly, they spotted the enemy flight of seven Bredar, BA-65, ground attack aircraft, escorted by six Fiat CR-32 biplane fighters, heading home after striking a British road convoy. During the dogfight that followed, Pattel shot down two Italian planes. As he fought, all machine guns of his gladiator jammed. 
While trying to escape the Italian fighters that followed him, his aircraft was severely damaged. Patel pulled the stick up, and after gaining some height, he bailed out. Once on the ground, disoriented, instead towards Egypt, he moved deeper into Libya. The next day he was saved by the advance patrol of the 11th Hussars. A few days later, he was in the air again. On August 8, he also scored a double victory. In short combat with 27 Fiat Sau 42s, Patel shoots down two of them. He flew several more, mostly ground attack missions over Libya, without a confirmed victory. On October 28, Italian forces invaded Greece from occupied Albania. In support of Greek defense, the 80th Squadron was transferred to Greece, in early November, and arrived in Athens on November 18. The next day Patel flew a patrol along the Albanian border, when gladiators of the 80th Squadron, encountered a formation of SAR 42s. He managed to shoot down one of them. On the way back to the formation, he was intercepted by several SAR 42s, and Fiat G50s. Demonstrating outstanding flying skills, Patel shoot down another CR-42, his second victory of the day. With six confirmed victories, Patel was finally an ace. By this time, Patel already developed his air tactic, and as his counterpart from Luftwaffe, Eric Hartmann, he also tried to get as close as possible to the target before firing. However, this tactic was not always applicable during fighting in Greece. In his first encounter with the new Italian Fiat, G50 fighter, Patel realized, that the Italian plane is faster and superior to Gladiator. Heavy rains in November and December, grounded pilots of the 80th Squadron. Nevertheless, Patel used every possible opportunity, to increase his victory count. During December, he claimed eight more air victories. His final victory on Gloucester Gladiator came on February 9, 1941. In late February 1941, the 80th Squadron, was finally equipped with new Hawker Hurricanes. Patel was given command of the first six Hurricanes arrived. Although they missed the Gladiator's acrobatic abilities, pilots were delighted to receive new fighters. Shortly after, on February 20, Patel had the opportunity to test a new Hawker's fighter in combat. He led his section in a bomber escort mission, when he spotted a formation of four G-50s. This time the G-50 could not escape him. Patel was certainly surprised with the power of eight Hurricanes machine guns, when after a short burst, Fiat fighter exploded, right in front of him. It was his first victory in Hurricane. Finally, he had an aircraft he deserves, faster and superior to his Italian rivals. As an excellent marksman, he used limited hurricane ammunition carefully, which allowed him to shoot down multiple targets in one flight. As the air combat over Greece intensified, it was much harder to track the record of the air victories. Patel was credited with more unconfirmed and probable wins. On February 28th, he claimed three victories in just a few minutes, and on March 4, he shoots down three G-50s. Next week, Patel was promoted to squadron leader and assigned as the commander of the 33rd Squadron. A few days later, he was awarded a bar to Distinguished Flying Cross. In the new squadron, Patel continued as before. On March 23rd, he had one confirmed and one probable victory. A few days later, British pilots faced a new, formidable opponent. On April 6, Germany invaded Greece. The same day, the 33rd Squadron flew offensive patrol over Bulgaria. In the first encounter with Luftwaffe, Patel destroyed two ME-109s. Meanwhile, with the arrival of the German army, the situation on the ground changed dramatically. Swift German advance, forced defending troops on retreat. 
Luftwaffe air raids, inflicted severe damage to the RAF forces on the ground. Aircraft maintenance has become difficult. A new target-rich environment, Patel used to further increase his score. From April 7 to 12, he claimed nine more victories. By mid-April, the Luftwaffe intensified the pressure. By then, the 33rd Squadron was reduced in its strength significantly. A small number of British fighters had to fly into combat missions several times a day. On April 14, having fly two combat missions on the same day, Patel destroyed four enemy planes. As the Germans advanced, the remains of the 33rd and 80th Squadron withdrew to the vicinity of Athens. During the retreat, Patel got sick. The sickness did not stop him from takeoff on April 19, and in several missions shoot down seven German planes. The next day on April 20, Patel flew the first mission of the day in the morning, and he downed a U-88 and two ME-109s. In the afternoon, he went on the second mission of the day with 15 remaining hurricanes, to intercept more than 100 Luftwaffe planes. After destroying a U-88 and a ME-110, in the middle of a chaotic dogfight, two ME-110 approached Patel's plane. Firing from behind, his fighter burst into flames and exploded a few seconds later. The remains of the plane, alongside with pilot, crashed into Eleusis Bay. Pat Patel was credited with 50 air victories. However, his exact victory count is unknown, and vary from source to source. His total was at least 40 enemy aircraft destroyed. Also, he is considered to be the highest scoring ace, on both Gladiator and Hurricane. Moreover, his success in Hawker Hurricane was remarkable, shooting down 35 enemy planes, in just two months. While the greatest aces of other countries are well known, the Commonwealth top scoring ace has been unjustly, forgotten.